All right, darkness has started to set in here at the end of the second day of practice for the Rayovac FLW Series Championship. We're here on the Tennessee River below Kentucky Lake, and I'm with Brian Ankrum. And the last time that I saw Brian was on Lake Amistad early, early this year, and he was catching giants on drop shots. And a pretty big change of scenery for you here on this system. Have you seen much out there in the first two days of practice that you like? We've seen a lot that we like. Um... It's going to be difficult. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of fish out there and they're real isolated okay. in the spots that we're catching them. And you know, there's there's a bunch of fishermen out there. I think it might fish pretty small, but we are seeing some things we like. And What have you seen, or not specifics, but just have you seen things maybe that remind you of places you fished before? Uh, or is this completely all new for you? You know, we, we were talking about this earlier and it reminds me of, you know, several different rivers. I've seen stuff that looked like the Red River. I've seen stuff that looked like the Arkansas River. Okay. Um, over here, it seems like we got a little bit clearer water, uh, which I like. Yeah. So, you know, there's a few different rivers that come into mind. So, so it's not all new to you um, in terms of what you're seeing, but you obviously never been here before. Right. Um, small mouse and large mouse in this system. and. I think folks are kind of debating whether the small mouse are going to come into play. What's your gut tell you? Will the, the small mouse really factor in, or is it a think, large mouth tournament? You know, I think the small mouth will come into play. We haven't done real well on them so far. We we mostly just caught large mouth. Um, but talking to some people that I know, there's some big small mouth in here, yeah. and, and if you can get on the right bite, you know, you can get well quick because okay. because there's there's five six pound small mouth in this fishery. Gotcha. Now we're halfway through practice, and. Do you feel like you've learned enough at the halfway point to kind of feel confident that in the next few days you can put something together? Or are you starting from scratch again tomorrow? No, I think, we, I think we're running some kind of pattern. Mm -hmm. I think we're just going to continue to expand upon that. Okay. So I, I, I do feel confident about that. Do I feel confident if the tournament starts tomorrow? No. Okay. You know, I, I need to find more. We need to find more bites. The yeah. bites are few and far between, but, but the ones we have found seem to be on the same type of stuff. So that's what we're going to continue to look for the next few days. So you got a crumb, kind of a starting point. Now you mentioned uh, here in the, in the Tennessee, you like the water color a little better. What about the flows? Does it seem like there's the right amount of current? You think maybe more or less would help? Do you have any idea? I have no idea. I've never fished <laughs> yeah. these river systems okay. before. Um, we have noticed different current in all three rivers that I've mm -hmm. fished so far. Um, it, it's definitely current related, the things that I've found. Sure. I, I can't tell you whether the, uh, the heavier current is better than, than what we saw today here. Um, I think both can be equally good. Okay. Um, we'll just have to play it by ear the next couple days and see what happens. All right. Well, now I know you like to fish that drop shot. I watched you do it very well down in Texas. Do you think that finesse kind of stuff is going to be the deal here or are you going to break out some power gear and go and hammer on uh, we've done both um i've caught fish on the drop shot we've also caught fish flipping um i've thrown the a rig you know i've yeah. thrown some swim baits Mixing uh, it up. i think it's yeah it's gonna be more junk fish than anything okay. i do think the drop shot could be a could be a factor in this um you know it seems like when the fishing gets tougher I, it seems like that's one thing that sure. they will bite. So yeah, catches them everywhere. Yeah. And, and this week, I mean, yeah, we know that fishing is going to be pretty tough, but uh, get a few good bites, stick around for a couple days, and get to that third day and you have a really, really good shot at making the Forest Wood Cup, which is huge for everybody here to get that out to qualify a year in advance and have that time to prepare. What would that mean to you if you make it to the Cup? Oh Here's man, it's 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 everybody's dream to do this and to do it, you know, through the Ray of Axe is just would be it would be an awesome yeah awesome pleasure right there um you know i i you, like i said you always dream about it but to get there is another thing and man to have this opportunity is is unbelievable and the way flw does this it, it you can't beat it you know some other circuits have their ways of getting to other large tournaments but to have 10 spots available for the yeah. forest wood cup is just is second to none. And yeah, it's pretty exciting. Huge week for FLW here. We're going to get started filling those Forest Wood Cup slots for next year at, at Wheeler and uh, 10 of them on the line. I know Brian has a great shot at it. He started the year off with a bang on Amistad. Maybe we can finish off strong here. Best of luck to you this week, Brian. Thanks right. for joining us. Man. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it.